The number one question that people ask me about uh, UCL tear uh, in the wrist um, is you know, sometimes some people don't have pain. Um, for me, there's a lot of pain. Oftentimes, ligament tears don't have that. But what happens is there's not pain due to the ligament tear necessarily, but it's a secondary effect of the instability. And now it shifts, and so it's impinging the nerves, blood vessels, other structures, muscle structures around it. So for like me, um, you will see like in my ulna right here, the head, when I push up on the pisiform bone, can see it really well. It sinks. I showed it in my other video. But for me, what happens is the instability here, it, it'll really lock up and then I'll start getting elbow pain. One of the main uh, symptoms and one of the main things that I have to do is, right here, listen, that's me pushing the, all that, the piezoform, back into alignment. And so when that is out of alignment because of the instability there, then I get elbow pain. So what people ask me is, what is it? What is the main symptom? Is that it can be here at the wrist, but also you can have start having cubital tunnel syndrome and pain at the elbow joint um, because secondarily you can get cubital tunnel syndrome. Why? Because when the ulna shifts at the wrist, it's going to move at the elbow joint as well. Therefore, shifting and impinging uh, the ulnar nerve in the cubital tunnel. So be aware of that. That this cubital tunnel syndrome um, may be due to. Uh, uh, instability at the wrist junction um, and again that's where for UCL terrier you need surgery I use flex stand uh, to create to create stability here which then stops the elbow pain here because it's now not moving at the wrist again using flex stand for a UCL tear is not going to correct it it'll put a band-aid over it it helps it if you don't have because you're not having surgery surgery is the only way to get rid of it but um, Ligament surgeries uh, don't really last long, especially in the hand. I mean, you tear them back again right away. So that's why I never had mine done. So anyway, um, that can help you out in regards to UCL tear. Um, what can help restabilize it? One of the symptoms, again, movement here, popping. And, of course, then if you also have uh, cubital tunnel symptoms, it can actually be caused from a UCL issue here and cause cubital tunnel secondarily. So... Um, check out my videos and uh, I'll see you soon.